In this video, I will talk about writing our own first experience manager in Python. Writing an experience manager in Python is as simple as writing print. As you can see, in our first prototype, I've written a function called action, which receives a text message, appends start to that message, and then prints it. Camelot is going to receive this message and execute the command. Let's see how the log looks. We can see the four commands that we sent from our experience manager. There are times that we need to wait for the success of a command before starting another. An example is when certain commands depend on the success of another command. For instance, we need to wait for the success of create character before executing any other command that involves that character. In addition, we may want to run a sequence of commands in order. For example, when moving a character from a place to another, we need to run exit first, wait for its success message, and then run enter. In order to wait for a command to succeed, we must keep reading the standard input until we receive a message from Camelot that the corresponding command has succeeded. If we check the logs now, we can see how our experience manager runs the commands in order. In some cases, we may want the experience manager to react differently if a command fails. For example, suppose that we want a character to take a potion from a stall and then drink it. However, if the path to the potion is blocked, the character may fail to get to the potion and the take command fails. In that case, we may want our experience manager to ignore this failure message and proceed with the drink command. Our experience manager can also have the option of stopping the execution of the command sequence if the take command fails. Listening for a failed command from Camelot is similar to how we wait for a succeeded message. However, we must remember that the failed messages also include a text describing the reason for failure. That is why we must use starts with rather than equal to check for a failure message. Notice that our experience manager returns true if the action succeeds and false if the action fails. Based on this value, the experience manager can decide how to proceed with the execution of a command sequence. We don't always need to wait for the success message of all actions. Waiting to receive the success message of every command can significantly slow down our game. Therefore, we can add an extra argument to specify whether the experience manager needs to wait for the success message. In our example, we only need to wait for the success of the create character command. So we can instruct the experience manager not to wait for the rest of the commands. This will significantly improve the speed of executing commands and as a result, speed up our game.